This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.6.8. Instructors can now link directly to individual announcements using the Insert Quick Link button on the HTML editor, which simplifies the process of referencing announcements and bringing them to the attention of learners. To begin, from the HTML editor, click an insert point for the announcement link. Then, click Insert Quick Link. From the Course Materials list, select Announcements, and choose the item that you want to link to. A link to the announcement now appears in the HTML file. Instructors can now receive an email notification when users upload a new submission to an Assignment Submission folder. This feature implements PI items D2062, D2895, D2444, D1222, and D584. When instructors create or edit an assignment submission folder, from the Properties tab, navigate to the Submission Options section, and enter an email address or comma-separated list of email addresses in the Notification Email field. The specified email addresses will receive an email notification when a new submission is uploaded. This feature depends on the D2L, Tools, Dropbox Allow Notification Email Configuration Variable, which is turned on by default. The Enhanced Document Viewer Viewing Experience allows instructors to view PDF and image files in their original format. Instructors will notice an updated viewing experience for image and PDF files in Assignments, Brightspace Learning Repository, and Brightspace ePortfolio. Instructors can now use an exemption as a reason why a learner has not completed a grade item. All grade tool updates in this release use the D2L, Tools, System, Features, Is Exemptions Enabled configuration variable. This variable is turned off by default. All Grades Tools updates in this release require the Enter Grades permission for administrators and instructors. When an instructor exempts a grade item for a learner, the following pages are affected for instructors. Enter Grades, Grade User, Grade Category, Grade Item, and import preview. The grade category and grade user pages display exemptions but do not support adding or removing them. When an instructor exempts a grade item for a learner, the My Grades page is affected for that learner. In the User Progress tool, the Summary and Grades tabs are affected for both instructors and learners. In the Summary tab, exempted grades are not displayed. In the Grades tab, users can view exemptions. Exemptions affect the calculations of formula grades, calculated grades, grade categories, and final grades. There are two release conditions that are affected by exemptions. Because grade exemptions do not count as completed or incomplete grade items, there are two release conditions that are affected by exemptions, grade value on grade item and no grade received. These release conditions respect the exemption and do not trigger on the presence of a grade exemption. The process that exports and imports grade data now includes exemptions. To import or export grade exemptions, you must have the D2L, Tools, Grades, Exemption, Import, Export keyword configuration variable set. The default setting is exempt. Now, when an instructor imports grades, the imported grade data now includes exemptions. Similarly, when grades are exported, the exported grade data now includes exemptions. Within the Class Progress tool, exempted grades now appear in the Detailed Grades breakdown, but do not appear in the Summary. Exempted grades do not appear in the Grades section of the Summary tab or the Bar Graph for Received Grades. Exempted grades appear in the Grades tab on a Learner's Grade Progress page, but do not appear in the bar graph for received grades at the top of the page. The Quizzes tool has been improved so that the workflow for creating and editing true and false questions has a modernized look and feel and responsive layouts. Click Leave it on to opt in to create or edit the true or false questions using the new Create Edit True or False Questions user interface. Click Turn it off to return to the original user interface. 
There is no change in the workflow for creating and editing true or false questions. Changes to the User Progress tool now provide more clear information about which grade items are dropped from the calculation of a final grade. In the Grade section of the Progress Summary page, dropped items do not appear. On the Grades Progress page, dropped items are indicated by the text Dropped, not included in the final grade, and an exclamation mark icon with hover text that reads Dropped. The bar graph on the top of both the grades and summary pages does not include dropped items. Drop rules appear underneath each category. This feature and all other class progress features in this release depend on the D2L, Tools, Class Progress, Show Dropped and Final Weight configuration variable, which is turned on by default. However, if you turn off the variable, dropped grades and drop rules no longer appear in the Summary and Grades tabs. When using a weighted gradebook, Instructors and learners can now view grades and their associated weight achieved in the User Progress tool. In the Grades section of the Progress Summary page, each category shows the weight value, the achieved value towards the final grade, and the achieved percentage mark. On the Grades Progress page, each category shows the weight value, the achieved value towards the final grade, and the achieved percentage mark. Expand the category to see each grade item in detail.